Still talking about Thanksgiving, y'all. I'm gonna share a delicious little cupcake for your out-of-town guest or your children, your grandchildren, nieces and nephews, your little neighbor kids when they come over to your house. You know, they're gonna be looking for something sweet. <laughs> like, da uh, like Davis and Olivia, they come in my house one is saying, I want cake. The other one saying, I want suck, suck, gee, gee. <laughs> Their sweet tooth is so big. So maybe this recipe will help you have something easy and sweet for those kids when they pop in your house. And it's called um, a pumpkin mudslide cupcake. So that sounds delicious, doesn't it? And it's got um, it's got um, Irish cream in it, and it's got Kahlua. Now those do contain some alcohol, but there is nothing to worry about uh, by giving it to your children because the little bit of alcohol that's in it will cook out during the baking time. So not not to worry, not to worry. Uh, now, if they drank it just like that straight up, we might have some problems and some issues, but do not fear, it will be fine. All right, now I am going to start with my dry ingredients and I have plain flour, I have sugar, a pinch of salt. That's really just a pinch too. I think I'm gonna add another little pinch because I do like sweet and salty. And with that being plain flour, it has no salt in it either. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more to just make up for that. Cinnamon, soda, that is soda, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Not powder. Yeah, soda is much, much finer than powder. And now I've got instant coffee granules. Now we're just gonna stir all those together. Actually, I'm gonna whisk them because using the whisk on your dry ingredients, it's almost like sifting everything together and a lot easier than sifting. All right, we're gonna set that aside and I am going to beat all my liquids together, but not my coffee. Yum. Uh, Teresa, I don't see the vanilla extract up here. I thought the vanilla goes in the frosting. Well, maybe it does. Are you into the frosting? <laughs> no. <laughs> Those ingredients are the frosting ingredients. You know what? I added the sugar to that, and I wasn't supposed to. I was going to say that, but I was just going to... Well, you should have reminded me. Well, I didn't, I didn't realize you did the sugar yeah. before I could say it. Well, you know, you just always think about beating... So you don't put any of this in that goes okay. in your So that's for the icing. Yep. It's been many a moon since I made these. You're trying to jump ahead of me. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm beating my two eggs. Eggs. 
beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna add my all. I'm going to add my Kaluva. And then I'm going to add my Irish cream. Mm. <laughs> that smells so good. That doesn't smell like it would have alcohol in it. It smells way too good. All right, so I'm just going to incorporate all those wet ingredients together and then I'm going to slowly add my dry ingredients. Let's see, what was I thinking? This is what I was thinking because I'm going to do this rather, rather slowly. So I'm getting one of my smaller measuring cups and get this done in just a few steps. Looks good. All right. Now I'm to fill these cupcakes. I'm gonna use my ice cream scoop. And I'm gonna spray that so hopefully it won't stick too bad. Move this over here and here and here. Move this down here because up there is a little high. <laughs> and this should yield you a dozen cupcakes. So it's important, you know, that they all be the same size. So I'm gonna put the same amount in all the cups and then I will go back and I'll adjust if they need more. The recipe said it makes 12 cupcakes. So I have no batter left y'all. And you can see we have three, six, nine, 12 that we're gonna bake in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And off they go. Yes. And I'm going to clean up my mess. All right, it's time to finish up these wonderful, wonderful pumpkin mudslide cupcakes. And it made 12 exactly. And I mean, I filled them up almost to the top of the cup and they did perfectly. It came out with a little mound on it. So now we got to frost them and I'm going to start by beating up one cup of sugar, of butter until it's creamy, which will take two or three minutes. I'll scrape my bowl, making sure it all gets beaten up evenly. Now I'm gonna add my pumpkin pie spice. I'm gonna add my instant coffee granules and a half a cup of pumpkin puree. Ooh, doggies. You better be careful, because if you make your house extra thanksgiving -y good. <laughs> you may get people back every Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> careful. <laughs> now I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that wonderful vanilla extract. This is a real deal stuff. Mm. That's the butter from the cupcake, so I'm going to mix this again. I want it to be nice and creamy. All right, so I'm slowly adding my powdered sugar. All right, 
this looks very, very good. Now, tastes very, very good. Now you can pipe this on or you can just frost them. I choose to just frost them uh, because that piping, it can sometimes be a mess. So I'm going to do it the way that's easiest for me. Now, Teresa and Eddie, if y'all want to pipe, y'all grab y'all a bag and start <laughs> piping. <laughs> Teresa and I got our cup, whoa, our cupcakes all frosted. And now I'm just gonna drizzle them with wow. a little chocolate syrup. Just like that. How does that look, y'all? <clears throat> I think it looks pretty fine. I think it looks fabulous. I can't wait to eat one. And you can just kind of do them any way you want to. I may do that one. This chocolate syrup is loose as a goose. All right, now we got just one more thing to do now, kitties. We're going to take our orange sanding sugar. Come on, Teresa, jump in here and help me, girl. You can do the black. We're using the Halloween colors, orange and black. Should we tell him that Eddie spooky. was upset because we, yes. about his story? <laughs> he says we're bullies. Uh-huh, Eddie just called me and Teresa bullies. And you know why? How are you doing that so fast? Because, <laughs> oops, see if I do it fast, it just comes all out. So anyway, Eddie was making his grandma's cake. Whoopie pie, Whoop, whoopie, whoopie cake. Whoopie. Well, yeah, what what was, was the name of it, Eddie? It was, it was just the uh, chocolate, chocolate cake. But what was the name of it? He says it's just called chocolate Granny, cake. no, it was called it Granny. Was, it was uh, my grandmother Langley's chocolate cake. Grandmother Langley's chocolate cake. But it was the one that had the whoopie pie, right? Yeah, icy. Well, icy. Yeah, it was like an yeah. inside out whoopie pie out of this world. And Eddie was finishing up now, and it's his recipe, not ours. We've never had this before. But he started to put sprinkles in it and Teresa and I both hollered and said, no, no, no. And it was those sprinkles that are like big enough. They crunch, you know, and you know they're there. They would have messed up that inside out whoopie pie. But he wants to know why we did it on this mm -hmm. one. And we said, uh -huh. it said that was in the recipe. <laughs> he said, what well, was in my recipe too. Your grandma Langley didn't say sprinkle with things. <laughs> We were bullies. We were bullies. We'll you know you what? This squirted, from now on. this squirted out so fast, the chocolate syrup. I wish I'd poured it into something else with a smaller hole. Oh, I think it looks good. But you know what? <laughs> Go for it. You want me to eat this? Uh-huh. You have to. I do? Uh-huh. Okay. I know that's a big... Listen. Horrible task. You know, it's part of my job, and I try to do my job well. Taking it for the team. Yes. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. So moist. Be careful, y'all. <laughs> You may wind up like Paula. <laughs> this is delicious. Next time though, I'm, I'm gonna add some nuts. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. And I'm sending y'all all best dishes in love, along with Teresa May and Edward Winchell. y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.